Hey everybody, we get a lot of questions on how hot can you get a TXV before you create damage into the TXV. Most of the time, anything around 200, 250 degrees will start causing damage into the TXV. Installation instructions often have that number listed inside the packet that comes with the TXV. In this particular case, 250 degrees Fahrenheit is the maximum temperature you can get onto this TXV or this bulb before you create damage. Guys like to use things like wet rags and products like that to protect the valve, which is all good. We like to use a product made by Solder Weld, which is Hot Block, and we like this product because it's 100% reusable. Uh, it looks like a major putty in here, a bunch of pieces. If it loses consistency, we add a little bit of water to it. In order to braise a joint that looks something like this with brazing rod or Dynaflow, something with 12, 13% alloy in it. Uh, you're gonna have to be anywhere in the neighborhood over a thousand degrees, 1100, 1200, 1300, something like that. It takes seconds to go over 250 degrees before you damage that valve. You have to protect it. Using something like solder weld, if I pull this out, it looks like a putty. I just putty it up in my hands. I wrap it onto the pipe. I don't even have to wrap all the way around the pipe. I can leave that exposed. Now I'm going to start heating this joint up to give you an example how well the hot block works to keep the heat away from the joint. Hand on the pipe. Turning the heat, height temperature is still pretty normal. Clearly over a thousand degrees. Not even going all the way around the pipe. I'm gonna cool this down here a second pretty hot. Here's the most amazing part, ready? The block stays cool. And with that, I uh, hope you find that information helpful. Please protect the TXVs. No more higher temperature than about 250 degrees. Use some sort of product. Uh, my advice, uh, try out the hot block. And don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe so you can see future videos from us.